Hello children. Remember me? I'm going to read you another story from Roald Dahl's Revolting Rhymes. This time it's going to be Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. As soon as Wolf began to feel that he would like a decent meal, he went and knocked on Grandma's door. When Grandma opened it, she saw the sharp white teeth, the horrid grin. Poor Grandmama was terrified. He's going to eat me up, she cried. And she was absolutely right. He ate her up in one big bite. But Grandmama was small and tough, and Wolfie wailed. That's not enough. I haven't yet begun to feel that I would have a decent meal. He ran around the kitchen yelping. I've got to have a second helping and added with a frightful leer, I'm therefore going to wait right here. Till little Miss Red Riding Hood comes home from walking in the wood. He quickly put on Grandma's shoes. Of course, he hadn't eaten those. There he is. All dressed up in Grandma's clothes. He dressed himself in coat and hat he put on shoes, and after that, he even brushed and curled his hair, then sat himself in Grandma's chair. In came the little girl in red. She stopped, she stared, and then she said, What great big ears you have, Grandma! Oh, the better to hear you with, the wolf replied. What great big eyes you have, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, the wolf replied. He sat there watching her and smiled. He thought, I'm going to eat this child. Compared with her old grandmama, she's going to taste like caviar. Then Little Red Riding Hood said, But Grandma, what a lovely great big furry coat you have on. That's wrong, cried Wolf. Have you forgot? to tell me what big teeth I've got. Ah, well, no matter what you say, I'm going to eat you anyway. The small girl f smiles, one eyelid flickers. She whips a pistol from her knickers. She aims it at the creature's head. And bang, 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 she shoots him dead. A few weeks later in the wood, I came across Miss Riding Hood, but what a change, no cloak of red, no silly hood upon her head. She said, hello, and do please note my lovely furry wolfskin coat.